Good evening once again. There are new concerns tonight that Washington may be halting Buffalo's progress. There are some people who worry now that the Trump administration's decision to slash the number of refugees who are allowed to come into the country could have a big impact on the Queen City's economy. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley. Buffalo needs more people if we are going to sustain and grow our economy, particularly when we're aging. From 2000 to 2015, an influx of refugees and immigrants to Buffalo are credited with helping revive some failing areas, like Grant Street on the west side. And they've brought more uh, economy in the area too, so. Gershio & Sons Produce Store has been in this neighborhood since 1961, and it remembers the bad times before the refugees. It was going downhill. You could see the, the uh, up, uprising around here. So Now, immigrant families have bought up homes, opened businesses, and spend money at places like Gershio & Sons. It's nice to see new people in the area. It is estimated that immigrants in the Buffalo metro area had a spending power of $1.4 billion in 2016, and they paid $629 million in taxes the same year. Immigrants and refugees have slowed our decline significantly. But restrictions by the Trump administration have drastically reduced the number of refugees coming to Buffalo, and that is a big concern for the International Institute of Buffalo. They can go to Canada. They want to go places where they feel more welcome, safer, um, and we lose for that. A growing immigrant population is the only thing that has slowed population loss in the city this century. Immigrants and refugees reduced our decline here by 40 percent. We still declined but they are a significant source of in-migration to the area. With fewer foreign-born people coming to Buffalo, many are now concerned about the future economic impact to this area. Economy of Buffalo they, they, is not going to do uh, you know, any, any good thing. And it is not just areas like Grant Street and Buffalo that are feeling the impact of the refugee population. The International Institute said refugees have settled in all parts of western New York. In Buffalo, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News. Next tonight.